This is BBC News. I'm Rita Chakrabarty. The headlines at five. Russian legislators give President Putin permission to use force outside Russia in a move that could pave the way for a broader attack on Ukraine. In the past half hour, the Russian leader has called for an end to Ukraine's bid to join NATO. What I'm talking about is a demilitarization of today's Ukraine. That is the only objective controlling factor which we could observe and have a proper reaction to. In response to President Putin's actions, Boris Johnson announces sanctions against Russian banks and wealthy individuals. The House should be in no doubt that the deployment of these forces in sovereign Ukrainian territory amounts to a renewed invasion of that country. In Germany, the government halts the process to approve a new pipeline from Russia, which could double Europe's gas supply. Ukrainians were told by their president to remain calm. He said his country was not afraid of anything or anyone. In other news, Nicola Sturgeon says the COVID certification scheme and face mask laws will come to an end in Scotland, but she says she's determined to keep testing people. And Storm Franklin leaves disruption in its wake, with floods along the River Severn and people evacuated from their homes. Good afternoon and welcome to BBC News. In the past half hour, President Putin has called for a halt to weapons shipments to Ukraine and an end to the country's bid to join NATO. His comments came less than 24 hours after he ordered Russian military to cross the border into two eastern Ukrainian regions, Donetsk and Luhansk, which are run by Moscow-backed separatists. This afternoon, the upper house of the Russian parliament gave the president permission to use force outside Russia, which could pave the way for a broader attack on Ukraine. Let's hear what President Putin has been saying in the past half hour. What I'm talking